This video will basically be an overview of all the add-ons that I use and why I use them. My goal with this UI has always been to keep things minimal and clean while still being useful and easy to use. Hopefully this can give you some ideas or inspire you to improve your own UI. All UIs are very personal so feel free to customize anything to the way you like it if you are using any of my profiles. You can find import codes for all my profiles in the description along with timestamps for specific add-ons. I won't go over how to import profiles for each specific add-on since the process is pretty much the same and it's very straightforward. But basically, you just copy the long import code from the description for each specific add-on. Open the add-on's settings, find the Profiles tab, select Import Profile and paste the code you just copied. And that is how you import all the profiles, so let's move on to the first add-on. So the base consists of LBUI, which is one of my favorite add-ons. If you are unfamiliar with uh, LVI and what it does, it basically overhauls your entire interface making everything the same style and giving it a more clean look. It also has these skins that makes all the panels in WoW look the same way. And I have basically everything uh, turned on except for patchwork art. As you can see, I don't have a lot of action bars uh, shown. One is hidden under here and these two actually have more buttons than it looks. You can actually show all 12 of them, put out your spells and hide them again so the action bars fits between the, the unit frames. If you are coming from the standard WoW UI, the bars that you most probably have used are called the bar 5 and bar 6 in LVY. I will just showcase some clips so you can see how it looks when you are in a group or in a raid. Players are sorted by role, so tanks will always be first, then healers, and then lastly DPS. I have also included a profile with more standard raid frames if you are a healer or if you just prefer that style. If you do import this UI, just make sure that your UI scale is set to 0.65 in LVUI and that you have your default settings for UI scale in WoW. Settings in the new edit mode also has to be set to default for it to scale properly. Another feature that I really like with LVI is the option to hide tooltips in combat. The tooltip can be really big and annoying, especially if there are people in your group that have quests to kill the same mobs that you are fighting. And just in case I need it, I can hold down Alt to show the tooltip. You can change this if you go into the LVI settings, go to tooltip visibility and here you can change uh, change it to behave uh, the way you want it to. Other than that I don't think I have done anything special but uh, there are a lot of settings and options so if you have any questions about the profile just leave a comment and I will get back to you. LVI is also well complemented by an add-on called add-on skins. It essentially reskins other compatible add-ons to match uh, the style of uh, LVI. And since LVI is so popular and well supported, most visual add-ons are supported by uh, add-on skins. A great example of this is uh, seen in the bars in big wigs and in uh, details, as they now have the same uh, one pixel border that uh, LVI has. Weak Chorus is probably one of the most versatile add-ons in WoW, and covering everything it can do would take hours. But the main thing that it does is track specific cooldowns and buffs. I have set it up to focus on the class and spec specific buffs and cooldowns here around the middle. And if I get an external cooldown or if we use a raid cooldown like Iron Bark or Darkness, it will show up next to my unit frame. I've also added a few extra details to complement the UI, like this class color clock, healer mana and combat rest timers that are displayed under the party frames. Since I couldn't get the LVI to show the power text the way I wanted it to, I made a simple weak aura text to track it here instead. I also use a buff reminder when I'm on a class that can provide buffs. It just lets you know how many people in your group that are missing your buff. If you don't have any weak auras and uh, you don't want to create your own weak auras, you can check out the wago.io website. I will link it in the description. 
You can find all sorts of weak auras for different specs and builds, and you can even copy mine if we are playing the same spec. For Mythic Plus and Raid content, I recommend getting a weak aura like this one. It tracks basically everything you need to know in a dungeon and presents it in a simple way. For example, if there's an incoming AoE, it will display something like this. The same goes for other mechanics like frontal or dodges. Keep in mind that these weak auras are dungeon specific, but I will do my best to keep all the ones that I am using up to date. And if you want the audio callouts, this add-on lets you tie specific words like frontal and dodge to a specific weak aura. So you select the weak aura that you want to add sounds on, you go to actions, you enable play sound, and here you can change it to uh, the sound that you want. Dance. Interrupt. Spread. You have probably heard of bigwigs or DBM. Both are still relevant today, especially in raids, but I would argue that they are less important for Mythic Plus. While a traditional boss mod uh, does have its uh, advantages, a good weak aura pack for dungeons can cover most, most of what you need. For me, the value of big wig lies in 1. Sound alert for when I'm standing in hurtful stuff. 2. A clear overview for planning ahead since you can see multiple minutes of boss mechanics. And 3. Various timers like uh, pool and RP timers. Big Wix also provides uh, chat notifications for uh, how long a debuff uh, has left before it expires, giving your teammates time to react. There are weaker packs for dungeon bosses as well, but Big Wix uh, is just so much easier to set up, and you can't go wrong with the traditional boss mod. If you're using my profile, I have turned off most of the sounds because I found them kind of distracting, but uh, you can adjust the sound settings here uh, and choose the sounds that you uh, prefer. So this add-on lets you track your party and raid members cooldowns. It's one of my favorite add-ons of all time and it's just so comforting to play with. I prefer to keep things minimal and focus on the essentials, so I only track cooldowns for interrupts and one other spell. Interrupts are very important in Mythic Plus dungeons as they can save you from uh, unnecessary deaths and alleviate the stress on the whole group. It's much easier to decide whether to interrupt a cost when you see what your uh, teammates have available. The other spell I like to track is ideally something that affects the entire group, or me personally. For example, Demon Hunter Darkness, Evoker Zephyr or Priest's uh, Power Infusion. If I see that we don't have any group-wide defensives available, it might be a good idea to use a personal one and vice versa. In my opinion, it's a must-have add-on for all Mythic Plus players. If you want to change uh, the spells that uh, are tracked here, you can open Omni CD, go to Dungeons, Go to spells, select the spells that you want, for example uh, uh, avatar, uh, warrior avatar and warrior recklessness. You go to position and you increase this number. I think the plater is the most popular nameplate add-on, but I personally prefer the simplicity of the KUI nameplates. If you want to use my profile, type KMP import in chat and you paste the string found in the description. It provides everything needed for dungeons and offers customization to suit personal preferences with options for colors, sizes and uh, different target markers. Additionally, you can blacklist debuffs that you don't want to or need to see, such as Demon Hunter's Chaos Brand or uh, Balance Druid's uh, Astral Smolder. I really appreciate this feature because debuffs like these don't really affect your rotation or decision making and it just helps cleaning up the UI a bit. It also displays CC on your target without any setup required. There's nothing fancy about it, it's just a clean nameplate add-on that does the job and it's easy to set up. Details is the go-to damage meter these days and for good reason. Besides displaying the standard information like damage and healing done, details also shows how many times you have costed a spell and your uptime on various buffs or debuffs. This can be very useful if you are comparing your performance and your rotation to other players with the same spec. 
Details can also show a lot of information about deaths, such as uh, what the player died from, if they got healed or not, or if they used any defensives. I personally only use one window, but I have included a profile with two similar windows if you prefer that setup. So this add-on changes the objective frame that displays the keystone information. It adds essential details like uh, the time remaining for plus 2 or plus 3, and it shows the, the current mob count in the current pool. The minimalistic design of this add-on makes the entire UI feel more roomy, which I really like. It also automatically inputs the key when you're about to start a dungeon. Additionally, you can customize the bars and the text colors, text sizes and fonts. There's no profile available here, so you have to pause and copy the settings if you want uh, the exact same. I will post the color codes in the description. I think it's just a better Mythic Plus timer than the standard one. Leatrix Plus is one of the best quality of life add-ons out there. It offers a range of smaller features that really add up. Besides handling the usual tasks like automating quests and rendering grey items, it can also increase your camera distance, hide clutter like talking frames and boss banners, and disable warnings for when you are trying to throw out something or equip new gear. But my favorite feature has to be the faster auto loot. It's just so fast that you basically don't have to stop running when you are trying to loot something. Definitely worth uh, checking out if you haven't already. Raider.io tracks a player's progression. Blizzard has tried to make their own version of this, but theirs doesn't show a player's main progression and shows way less information about the player, like highest key time for every dungeon and how many keys timed above a certain key level. It also tracks raid progression if you are into raiding. This is just a very useful add-on, especially if you are doing a lot of uh, pugging. Simulation Craft gives you a long import string that you can copy and use to sim your character on the Raidbot's uh, website. It keeps an accurate record of all your items in your bag and in your bank, which makes uh, gearing so much easier. It also works when you have your vault open, which can help you decide which item to pick. And since simming is such a big part of WoW nowadays, it's just very nice to have and saves uh, so much time. Meta Dungeon Tools lets you create dungeon routes without having to run through the actual dungeon itself. For example, you can open a map of any dungeon, like this, and see where all the mobs are located. You can also check what each mob does, so if there is a cost you need to interrupt or, or how much HP a mob has based on key level or uh, affixes. The real value of this lies in the setup and in the planning. If you know you're about to do a double or a triple pull, it just becomes so much easier to save major cooldowns for that point. And if you don't have a route, or if you don't uh, want to create your own, the website uh, Raider.io offers various routes that are easy to import. They provide more pug-friendly routes that uh, requires less coordination, uh, as well as more optimized routes that might be tougher to execute, but could be faster in uh, theory. And yeah, that's uh, everything. If you have any questions or run into any issues with the setting things up, just let me know and I will try my best to help you. And if you're looking for more ways to enhance your WoW experience, you should watch this video. See ya!